gonna tie a couple little tungstens up, get the one with bobber on, and then we're gonna start casting around, see what we can get. Just using my favorite white bird today, my medium light, that's what I'm gonna use. Tiny, tiny. Tiny tungsten, that's what we're gonna be using. Um, I'm gonna take this plastic off though. And we're gonna throw live wax worms with a bobber on there. That's that's what we're gonna throw. There we go. A nice wax worm there. Put it on this jig. Try not to pop in. There we go. I really don't know how deep this uh, spillway is, so we're just gonna start at a certain depth and then go from there. So you just let it sit and maybe just drag it a little bit, whatnot. There's white bass, bluegill, crappie. There's a bass in here. I caught him in the last video. I know there's some carp. Don't know if carp eat waxworms though. We are hooked up. We got our first fish. It is a green something. No, it's a bluegill. There we go. Just a little fella. Really pretty. Really pretty fish. That did not take long. That was, that was like my sixth cast. I did throw on a lighter bobber, a smaller bobber. Um, I didn't know I had one. To increase my odds, I threw out my other stick on a bobber just floating. So we'll see what happens. Just put a little Swedish pimple on there. Three wax worms or so. Just threw it out in one area. And I'm going to cast this around in another area. But, I mean, the water has to be super cold. And I'm, I guarantee this will probably iced over at one point. Considering we've already been ice fishing, so. This is kind of like the same technique we do in the summer with the night crawlers and jig heads. But, instead, we're using ice fishing tungstens and wax worms. been about an hour haven't caught a single fish tried several different things just a normal hook a little split shot let it sit on the bottom there we oh he came off that was instant we got a fish and it's big Oh god. It is giant. Don't come off. These hooks on this thing are so tiny. But whatever it is, it is huge. Absolutely giant. Oh, I don't like those little gives that it's doing. This is just on a tiny ice fishing jigging ramp. I haven't even seen it yet. I thought I was snagged again. Biggest giant, giant catfish. Giant catfish. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Big ol' cat. Big ol' catfish. Oh, I just seen a glimpse of him. We may be getting wet to land this one, boys and girls.
I just seen him once. He's not happy, that's for sure. Yeah, he's a big old kitty. I just see a glimpse of him again. He's definitely hooked in the mouth. Oh no. I see my leader, so he's just right there. Oh please dear war landless fish. He is not happy at all. We are five minutes and 30 seconds into this fight. It's a big old channel. I've only seen him three times. From the looks of it, he is hooked in the mouth. I turn you on because my GoPro's flashing almost dead, so it may die here in a second. I don't know where I'm gonna land in that. Rocks are so shallow right there. Let's see if we can take him down yonder. I just don't want to force him because these hooks, there's only two hooks on the treble part and then there's the front hook and back hook and you know with it being a little ice fishing jig it's skin could these hooks could break oh boy he is big definitely not my pb but oh my golly there he is yeah he's right there he's getting tired that's for sure Yeah, baby. I love this rod. Here's another look at him. Oh my God. This thing is huge. I've never caught a carp this big in my life. I don't carp fish at all. But this thing is huge. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Holy Look crap, that. next cast. Little bullhead. I haven't caught one of these in freaking years. Come on, bud, don't do this. There we go, he actually ate it too. Look at. Look at that. Huh. Cute little guy. I haven't caught one in years though. <clears throat> this is what I'm using. It's a little jigging wrap. As you can see on that treble, there's a hook missing. 
but a little jigging wrap. I could usually use this to catch bass and crappie through the ice, letting it sink to the bottom, bottom, and uh, just kind of like twitching it. There we go. That's bigger. What do we got? Put up a decent fight. White bass. Oh, whatever it is, it's on the tail. I think it's actual. Oh my god, that was a giant walleye. It hooked him in the tail, not. It's not what I wanted to do, but oh my god, that was a giant walleye. Feels actually really decent. This might be a catfish. I wasn't jerking it that time. I was just really twitching it on the bottom. It's kind of fighting like a catfish. It's big, whatever it is. Oh, it just popped right at me. There we go. Carp number two. Yeah, they're nasty creatures. 